Welcome back to Capture School. Today we're going to be talking about the Generae Radiance Monolight. All right, welcome back to Capture School. My name is Nick. I'm along here with Scott. Good to see you as always. And we are going to talk about this Generae Radiance light. There's so many LEDs out there and it's just like, oh, these things are just not bright enough. It, this is not that light. Yeah, this, uh, this light, is, it's getting crazy out there. There's so many models, like you said, um, but they're specialized, a lot of them. They're not all like just, hey, buy an LED anymore. Right. You know, we just in the last, purposes. yeah, in the last yeah, yeah. month, we've reviewed three or four different LEDs. They're all used differently, and we've used yeah. them in different scenarios. Mm -hmm. So you've actually used this for some product shots that you've done. I did. Yeah. And, uh, did, how did you like this light when you were playing with it? I liked it a lot. Super bright, for one. It's crazy bright. It's crazy bright. It's 23,000 lux with a, with a CRI of 95. So it's, it's crisp it's light. Pretty, yep. And now it's daylight balanced only. So it's not a bicolor. Okay. And I know that one of the things you say you don't like a lot of the bicolor lights because you lose half your LEDs when yep. you start mixing the, the two different tones. Yeah, and I don't know how that works with this particular one. If you look inside this, it's one big diode. One big so I don't know if how that works the same way as like the ones we're using here with those smaller yeah. ones. Don't know, but uh, so yeah, I did actually did a, a product shoot where I did a, uh, a scotch bottle. Cool. And so I took the, there's a little reflector that comes with, took that off and shot it through some Savage Translum. Cool. I was able to light the bottle. It looked beautiful. But yeah, I did that thing and then shot it at ISO 100 at F8 and 1 16th of a second. So still life product work. You're on a tripod 1 16th of a second. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. I got great quality out of it. And one thing about shooting with steady lights is what you see is what you get. Yeah. So as you make it lighter and darker, as you change your camera settings, you're getting the actual shot. Yeah. You're not having to guess. Yep. And the nice thing was that I needed a little bit of light on the label. So I took a little small LED flashlight and turned that on and just held it there and then just triggered the camera. Got everything. Got everything you Got needed. Got everything. I didn't have to do anything with a strobe, with a snoot, and all this crazy stuff like... Uh, um, polarizing filters. I didn't have to use any of those things. Just put this little spot of light right where I wanted it, just out of camera, just lit it up, it. done. This comes with a bag like all the Generate lights do. It's a very well padded bag. You have room for the reflector in there. You have room for this other power pack, which we're going to talk to you about. And then for the actual head unit. So this is a little different than most of these other LEDs it we is. use. It is. And other cool stuff that you have in there, goodies, a little remote. So you have a little tiny remote, and you can actually uh, have a little storage place for that, and it's rechargeable. Yeah, that's nice. You don't have to be feeding a thing with double A's or triple A's all the time. So when you're looking at this light here, and you're wondering what this big part over here is, so they've actually separated the head unit from the Ghostbuster part. So if you need to catch ghosts, you can just bring this out. Bring this with you. It's safety first. And you can throw it out there and catch your ghosts. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that is what this thing looks like. It weighs as much. So this this is your head. The, the head unit's up here. This is actually the all the other parts of it. So this yeah. is the fans, the transformer, everything the that brains, runs it. all the software. Yep, all the controls. So and and what they're what they're talking about, why they did this with this light is for quiet. So they're saying it's ninja quiet, that it's whisper quiet. You can run this, put this off over there have your light right up on your subject while you're doing video and you don't have to worry about those fans making noise. Yeah, we were trying to decide just how long the, the cord was, but it's around nine or 10 feet long. Oh, that goes between there. Yeah, and then you still have another cord that you could run yeah. for your power or run your batteries as yep. well. So yeah, there's, a, there's a, a V mount on both sides here. Fan is in the end. Yep. Yeah, so you're able to DMX those and link them together and yep. control them if you'd like to. So this light is primarily, we said, focused for studio photographers, studio videographers especially. Videographers. That they're, It's not something going to carry out in the field that's small yet. It's pretty heavy. This was how much you said? Oh, like, the total package weight with the light and everything in the bag is like 20 pounds. 20 pounds. So this is not a like, hey, I'm going to go. That's most of the weight. Yeah, so you're not going to carry it all over. No. So something you either install in your studio or you actually have it um, where you just use it in studio. Yeah. So. And I believe that's a Bowens mount. This is. Yeah. The, so the you can. can put you can put modifiers on there of any size, just whatever you need to do. I mean this is this is on a whole new level. I mean there's there are lights like this out there for easily twice the price or more. A lot of the problems we had with LEDs early on were they you'd get them and you're like, oh it looks bright to your eye and you'd start to shoot and you were up at 1600, 3200, even higher yeah. because as soon as you put it through a modifier, kills it, killed it. 
Yeah. So yeah, if you have one, double diffusion in there, you're going to lose two stops. Yep. That you don't want to lose. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Perfect. Well, uh, be sure to follow us. And if you have questions, comments, always leave them down below. We'd love to hear back from all our fans out there. And we'll see you at the next video.